Heaven's California. Hey guys, I'm in a bit of a rush. So I have literally a phone call in four minutes, and this video is like three and a half almost. So I gotta get right into this. This is a Wednesday video. My mom changed, and now I'm worrying about her. If you are new, be sure to subscribe. If you like this video, be sure to like it. And if you are don't have post notifications on, put them on right now. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Sorry, I'm just in a rush. First of all, I'm extremely worried about my mom. Okay. This year has been a turbulent one for the family, and I think her fragile psyche might just break. It began after my brother's death. Mm. Initially, my mom, dad, and I came together, and the family was stronger than ever. But as time went on, life got busy and the divide ensued. Mm. Mom craved constant emotional support, but it became overwhelming. And dad was always tired from work, and he was still grieving at the loss of his son, so it became Hard. too much to handle. After that, mom began cutting herself mm. and threatening her own suicide as a last-ditch effort to win my father's love and affection. Mm. But it was futile. With the signing of a few papers, a 20-year marriage evaporated. Mom went into a complete tailspin after their divorce. She stopped cooking, stopped cleaning, stopped bathing, and stopped talking. Wow. Everything was stopped. We lived in a house of silence until the nighttime when I could hear her howls of heartbreak echo through the home. I loved my mom, but I knew it wasn't healthy for me to stay in this situation. Mm. In the morning, I told her I wanted to go live with Dad, at least until she pulled herself together. That's definitely not healthy. For the first time in weeks, she spoke to me calmly. Weeks? She told me that if I leave, she'll have nothing left to live for and oh. kill herself. She was self-possessed, but her eyes were glancing. Mom, you need help. And, well, let's talk about it again when I get home, I told her. But she didn't reply at that time. Mm. I felt uncomfortable and sorry for her. When I arrived home from college, an eerie feeling crept over me. The entire house was pitch black, and my mom was nowhere in sight. Did she do it? I investigated the downstairs, but found nothing. I checked her bedroom upstairs, as well as the bathroom, but they were clear. I walked down the hallway to my room and saw a dimly lit candle on my desk. It was illuminating a note. I began reading, and a chill ran up my spine after the first few words. What'd she do? This wasn't a note. It was a suicide letter. Mm. That's what I kind of figured, to be honest. While reading continuously, my chest was pounding and I began to sweat. My heart sank deeper and tears flooded my eyes. That is, until I reached the bottom of the letter. When I reached the final two words, I became frozen with fear. What? The letter slipped from my moist grip. What? The final two words were simply a first and last name. It was my name. Suddenly, I felt the cold breeze from my door slamming shut behind me. The candle went out. The room went dark. And I could see her grin. That was the last. I literally have under a minute to talk about this, but that's actually pretty fucked. Like, it's one thing to already, like, lose your brother, like, obviously for that guy, and then to lose your mom, too. And, and then to also get, like, the, the, the divorce. Like, it just, like, everything fell apart there. That's so sad. I did not expect that. Like, that's not what I expected at all. I will say that is really sad. And I feel really bad for them, for, like, the family and stuff. Because now the dad, obviously the dad, like, divorced her. But obviously she, he didn't want her to die. You know, that's, that's sad shit. I was actually a really sad story. Okay, it's 3 o'clock. I gotta get out of here now. Be sure to like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you have any other suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and peace out.